Hi, my name is Shane Paul Neal from City Coach Multisport and I'll be talking about proper sprinting form with regards to the lower body. Obviously, lower body form is very important and it can uh, make or break your race overall. A few things you want to be aware of. Sprinters uh, run exclusively on their toes. They do what's called dorsiflexion, which is literally pointing your toe upward as opposed to just being relaxed and pointed down. This does two things. One, it gives you a safe platform to actually land and avoid rolling your ankles or hurting yourself and also creates a platform for you to come back up again as quickly as possible. Again, understanding that sprinting is about explosive movement and explosive response. You always want to have your foot land directly under your hip. Landing too far in front of you will A, slow you down, and B, apply a lot of pressure to your legs and your hips, which can result in further injury down the line. When it comes to actual leg movement, your leg moves in a cycle to where your knee is at 90 degrees coming forward, your heel is actually tucked underneath your butt, and you're almost like you're a bicycle on land. So you want to make sure you're cycling your legs properly and as quickly as possible. Again, with that foot landing directly underneath you. It takes some practice, but there are a lot of drills that your coaches can teach you to make sure you have the proper running form. And that's proper sprinting form for the lower body. Mm -hmm.